Now we're in the epicenter of this coronavirus outbreak or COVID-19 as you might call it. This virus is way more serious than you think. It's not a strong flu or common cold and currently we don't have any specific treatment for it. So one of the best ways to get away from it is to wear a mask. This electric face mask has got my attention for several reasons. First, it's reusable. Unlike most of the surgical masks, is their one-time thing. But this one, you can use as many times as you want. Let's take a close look. On the left side of the mask, you can find a charging port. That's why it's called electric mask. On the right, there's a power button to let you turn on the mini fan inside the mask. It has two levels. Once the mask is in low battery, they will flash red and need charging. When finished, the indicator will turn to green. The battery will last 4 to 6 hours depending on how you use it. And each theater can last 30 to 45 days until a replacement. Speaking of the theater, this thing is a beast. And this is yet another reason why I got so much interest in it. The filtration system has 4 layers, including a front sterilizing theater, an activated carbon theater, a HEPA theater, and a non-woven layer. Thus, it can block at least 98% of those small particles, of course, including coronavirus carriers. The biggest concern of the mask is, you can see, there are three holes down here. Wouldn't that let in a lot of unfilled air into the mask? Actually, you don't have to worry about that. This is vent valve, which is used to exhaust the exhaled air. When you exhale, they will open. When you inhale, they will close. Besides, when you turn on the mask, the pressure inside the chamber is greater than the outside, so it won't let the unfilled air in. Just to give you an idea of how this mask performs, the user experience. To be honest, I have mixed feelings about it. It has obvious disadvantages. It's heavy, it weighs 95 grams, while a normal one weighs on about 4 grams. Even if you wear for only 20 minutes, your face will start to feel sore, especially your nose bridge. Second is, it's a bit noisy. If you wear it outside, it's no big deal, it's a noisy environment anyway, but if you're in a quiet room, the noise might be a little bit annoying. Or but if you're in a quiet room, you might don't need it. Okay, the noise may not be a problem, but I prefer a quieter one. Last, I feel it's a little bit small. If I put it on and speak normally, then it's okay. But if I want to shout out, hey, what the hell? You know, might be a bit small. Maybe it's just because of me, I don't know. Sure, it has its advantages as well. It has a really effective filter system. It's reusable. Normally one field lasts about one month. And the package includes three filters. That's three months. If you wear one normal N95 mask per day, that might cost three times more as this electric one. So it saves you money. Since I listed all the good and bad sides of this mask, I will leave it to you guys to judge if it's for you, I personally suggest if you can buy a normal N95 face mask, like this Xiaomi one, go and get it. But if you cannot buy this one, like your local pharmacy is all out of stock, then this could be your last option. It's not bad. Alright, that's the video. I hope you all stay safe. Always wash your hands when you get home or into work. Don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth if your hands are not clean and try to avoid close contact with people who are unwell. See you next time.